did another video uh, in which I showed a few things, but I don't know if I'll, uh, I'll have the energy to um, edit it now. Maybe I'll do it um, in a few days. So I'll show in the meantime something else. Uh, I was doing storytelling time today, and I needed a um, few items, few animals. I was asked to do them uh, three dimensional, and I was trying to to make it with paper, and I wasn't happy because uh, I don't really know how to make um, to make this uh, three dimensional. So I decided to to crochet them. This is the biggest fish there is. I think the English word is well. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, my daughter, when she saw it, uh, she said, Oh, this is so cute. This is a dolphin. Well, the dolphin is close enough. If it looks like a dolphin. That's not too bad. So she immediately told me that uh, she wants it. So she got it. Now, just to show you what I did here, that's the, um, the hole of the, of the nose. And I had a problem there. I didn't know what to do because I need to stuff it. But if I stuff it, and I have such a big hole here, um, it will be ugly or even worse, not only ugly, but uh, it will uh, come out. So eventually I had the idea, of course after I already finished everything, closed everything, suddenly I had the idea that I'll just put some piece of uh, paper, blue, blue one here, on the top of the, uh, of the stuffing and uh, that will cover the color, the white color of the stuff, stuffing and also uh, it will block it from uh, it will secure it inside so that's one thing the other thing I did, I had to do an elephant so I decided to go for the nose and I did a I think the word in English is trunk, but I'm not sure. Anyway, the child put this over his head, and then he has this around here, around the nose, and they really, really liked it. I, um, when I got in, in the story to the to uh, the elephant part, and I asked who wants to wear it, and I had at least four children that wanted to wear it, so we had to put it on each one of them and g give them uh, an opportunity. So children really, really love putting something like this on. So that was the second thing. The third thing was a chameleon. And when I was trying to think how to make a chameleon, I knew it's going to be too much of a work to do everything, all the legs separate and so on. So I decided to concentrate on the head because of the very uh, long uh, tongue, which is uh, at least for children, the most interesting thing about chameleon. Um, and I don't have it here with me because uh, one of the children had also a birthday today. And I asked his mom, I wanted to give him something little. And I asked his mom if he's uh, into this kind of creatures. And she said, yes, he might be interested in it. So uh, when everything was finished, I asked him if he's interested in the chameleon. And he said that, uh, yes, he wants it. So I gave him. Uh, I'll post the picture here. The picture is not that great because I took it uh, with my mobile phone and I don't have an iPhone. Uh, I have a simple phone. It's, um, it's like a puppet. You can put your fingers. I did just uh, I did two parts for the fingers to, so you can open the mouth. And, of course, the tongue is there. And I made sure that it will be stiff and that it will curl. I just um, I did front post because I found out that front post make everything very stiff and then I I crocheted again 
uh, but instead, oh God, I don't know how you call it. I don't remember the the exact expression for it. Uh, I went into not the the previous line like you usually do, but the one underneath because I didn't want the tongue to get wider. I wanted it to be thicker without being too wide because it's a tongue. It has to be narrow one. Uh, and it's not bad, I think. So I uh, will try to post the picture. I don't know if I know how to post pictures here. I think it's more, it's even more complicated than taking a video and putting a video on. <laughs> uh, so I can't promise, but I will really try to. Um, that's it for now, and if I'm not too lazy, I will put the other things, but um, that might have to wait for some other day.